Since the start of 2011, we have been doing monthly webinars for our customers on a range of topics related to e-commerce and utilizing Mighty Merchant. We encourage you to watch our e-newsletter and Facebook page for upcoming webinar announcements. Last month's webinar was an overview of Mighty Merchant version 4 features. One important new feature we talked about is product level shipping. This feature gives you some very precise settings for your website shipping, but it does require that you understand your options. And there are quite a few options to choose from. Let's take a quick look at the product level shipping menu and explain each option. First, open up your Mighty Merchant Site Manager. Product level shipping is a version 4 feature. If you are still in version 3, you can talk with us about upgrading. Go to a product page and you will see shipping charge type menu. It's right here. Let's go through each option. Surcharge is the default. This means that whatever additional shipping charge you have assigned to this item will be added to the shipping calculation from your site-wide shipping methods. Let's try putting in a $10 value and see what happens. As you can see, once I get back to the shopping cart page, the total raises from $6.95 for the standard, uh, standard shipping charges plus $10 for the surcharge that we just added. Keep in mind that if you don't add an additional shipping charge, then $0 will be added. And really, this is the normal situation for shipping, unless you have items that need an additional charge. Let's try one-time surcharge next. This option will add a surcharge shipping cost, but only add it once, no matter how many of the item that you add. For instance, if we add 600 camping shirts to our shopping cart, only $10 is added to the standard shipping cost, despite the fact that we just added 599 extra shirts. And the shipping cost is going to remain $16.95. Next, we'll try out flat rate shipping. Flat rate shipping charges will replace your standard shipping rate with the rate you enter here. Instead of adding charges to your normal rates, the flat rate is charged instead of your normal rates. If we add a $10 flat rate charge, um, uh, the total shipping cost is $10. Let's see that in our shopping cart. Oh, I forgot to reduce the quantity. $10. Um, if we increase our quantity to 600, we'll take that value back to 600, the shipping rate goes up to $6,000. But, as you can see, the 695 standard shipping is absent from this new calculation. Uh, now let's try out the one-time flat. As you might expect, one-time flat rate will add the flat rate and only add it once, no matter how many items you add. Um, uh, so no matter how much we increase uh, the quantity of items, our shipping rate is going to remain $10. So even with the 600 um, camp shirts, our shipping and handling is only $10. Um, remember that with the flat rate, the shipping charge for this item will not factor in to the overall shipping amount for the order. Next, let's talk about the default method free option. With this method, the item will ship free and not factor into any shipping charges when the default shipping method is selected for the order. Let's try it out on the site manager. Default method free. And then when we return to our shopping cart and calculate the shipping, the shipping decreases to zero dollars. However, when we select a new shipping method, because it is no longer the default method, the item reverts to its normal shipping cost. Next on the list is the always free option. With always free, the item will ship free and not factor into any shipping costs, no matter what shipping option is selected. Let's change it to always free in the site manager. And when we return to the shopping cart, you can see that um, the shipping calculation goes down to free. You need to be careful in selecting this option though, um, especially if you have an option like overnight shipping on your site. Finally, we're going to see the Require Shipping Quote option. Mighty Merchant allows you to flag an order as requiring a shipping quote, which means that the order and payment will not get processed um, and you will have a chance to figure, out, figure the shipping and contact the customer with a final price before running the order. When this option is selected, you can see that, um, uh, that uh, for the shipping cost, quote appears as the value. Let's see what happens when we try to check out. Here we have a no payment due window. 
uh, and inside it is a customizable message so you can let your uh, customer know what is going on. Any order with a required shipping quote item included will get special treatment and will not be processed. Keep in mind that the per product shipping works in conjunction with your site-wide shipping methods. We will talk about those in another video. We are always happy to answer any questions you have about shipping or any other topic related to Mighty Merchant. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.